This is ambient chronometer. And the way that ambient chronometer works is that it's sending a signal many times per second, which triggers a series of time intervals, seconds, minutes, and hours. And each of these time intervals correlates to pitches that occur within a five second measure. The way that you determine the time is by comparing each of these time segment pitches to a reference pitch. And so at the beginning of each five second measure, you can hear the reference pitch, which is this one. This is the reference pitch. And then the hour pitch comes next, which is this one. Listen for it. So what I do is I count reference pitch. One, two, three is the hour pitch. So that means we're at three hours, as is indicated here. In order to figure out the minutes, similar to how the minute hand works on a clock, where each of the numbers on an analog clock represents five minutes of time that have gone past, so with the number of steps up that the minutes are is multiplied by five to get the number of minutes. So listening for the minute pitch, it's here. The minutes are here. So counting up from the reference, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the minutes. So six times five is 30. And then counting the number of beats that that pitch happens on beat four gives me the number of minutes in addition to 30. So this is the number of minutes pitch. So it's six and then one, two. So 30 plus two is 32. And then same thing for the seconds. The seconds is the one that happens every second and increases by one step at every five second interval. So you can hear it here. Seconds, two, three. And so again, counting up from the reference pitch gives you the number of seconds. So it's about to loop through to another minute. So I'll wait. And you can hear the minute, the second pitch here. Do, da, da. So this is interval two, two, interval three. So three times five is 15. And then here's pitch four times five is 20. So by comparing each of the pitches to the reference pitch, you can determine what time it is. In addition, you can vary the time uh, arbitrarily in order to hear what a given time would sound like. So if I'd like to hear what it would sound like at 8 p.m., 8.45, and some seconds. So same process occurs where compared to the reference pitch, which is here, you'd count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.